Hi there, Steph. Thanks for popping by. So today I'm sharing with you some shaker bookmarks I've made using the Shina A Little Bit Oriental stamp set with the lanterns that you've seen on my blog previously. I wanted to show you how I've made five bookmarks uh, assembly line style, uh, so all after each other in order to save time. Um, I also wanted to film it because I've been okay. The story behind that is that I'm doing that for my husband's birthday. Um, we're having a Chinese meal, and I thought it would be nice to have some Chinese paper craft on the table. And it's I thought it was a good way to use stamp sets for something other than cards. Uh, so here are the bookmarks, and if you see. Go until the end of the video on my blog, you will see more photos of. Um, I've done some name tags and some little, um, how would you say, not toothpick skewers uh, that I was, I'm going to poke into some table centers and stuff like that to make the table pretty. So it's a different way to use your stamp set, just, you know, something new, something different. So I've uh, stamped my greeting, embossed it with some ranger embossing powder, I think it was gold. Um, I used my heat gun to melt the embossing powder and then I trimmed my bookmarks so that they would fit into my, um, I think it's memory box, uh, plastic sleeves to then use my Fuse tool, sorry, the word skipping me. Uh, once I was done with that, I used that new distress, uh, Ranger Distress Ink Apple, which is called Candid Apple, and it's really nice red, and I think it will work really well for Christmas as well. Maybe even Halloween. Um, I used some perfect pearl that I mixed with water, and then I put loads of droplets onto my cards, and the red is so rich and deep that uh, when you put the droplets, it really sucks out the ink and you can really see the nice uh, bright droplets and what you can't see on the camera is that you have all the perfect pearl shine and it would look really nice when you have it in front of your eyes, so it's really cool. Here's a fly, it's summer here. <laughs> um, so once I was done with that, I mixed a bit of Distress ink, uh, the same ink, with some water, uh, not too much so it stays really deep. Uh, and then I spread it all around and what I wanted to say is that because I didn't put much water it didn't dry quick at all so if you want it to dry quickly put more water and if you have time to let it dry overnight maybe just uh, don't put too much water that's up to you but don't use your heat gun too much because you will remelt your embossing powder and it will look all funny and not that great uh, once I was done with that, I went to the shaking parts of the bookmark. So I've done, I've stamped some little lanterns with some Memento Tuxedo Black, and I started coloring with my Copics. Um, I've done a mix of red, orange, and yellow to kind of give that um, idea of a, a bulb in the middle of the lantern, and you know the light peeking through and things like that. Trying to add a bit of shading and depth to it. And I've done two different types of lantern: the tiny ones and some larger ones. And I, I tried to speed up that video because it was really long, it was about, I don't know, 12 or 30 minutes, I'm not sure. So I tried to speed up as much as possible. I hope it's not too quick, so if it is, please let me know in the comments. So next time I go a little bit slower, or maybe, you know, I try to cut some parts so it's not too redundant. Um, but I, I want you to see everything, but I don't want it to become boring. So let me know what you think. If it goes too fast, please let me know. So once I'm done with the color part of the coloring um i found some gold um lutra sets pro markers i had from before my copic days uh, and i used that to add some gold and then i used my gold uh, gel pen and i added more gold onto it it's that the gel pen is a bit more gold and a bit more you know there's a bit more glitter in it and you see it when you see it in real than on a camera then i use my black copic marker to do the edges because i like it when it looks really neat uh, and it does make a hell of a difference for me to add that little edge. Then on the little, it's not quite the handle part, under the handle I added some shading because I thought it would look odd if there was a little white part in the middle of a colored lantern. Uh, so I just added a little bit of shading with my cool gray markers. And then I turned my uh, bookmarks around and I used my blending tool again and I added some red all over. So here's the part where the droplets of distress ink were not dry and it's splattered and I wasn't too happy with it but because it's kind of so it's full of splatter and it's full of color and splash and stuff if I think it works out okay in the end if you were going for like a really neat look that's not so right uh, but for the look I was going for with the shaker elements I think it works fine I'm actually quite happy with the final result so 
it's okay with me. <laughs> so then I added all my little shaking elements. So my lantern that I put the right way around. And then all my little shake bits, so um, little sequins. I try to put a bit of gold, a bit of red, and I try to put different sizes. I have got a lot of sequins, but I don't necessarily have all the sizes for all the colors. So, you know, mix and match and things that work together. Uh, while I was doing that, my fuse tool was heated up and you kind of have, I have to check for that it's really hot because I want to make sure that it doesn't open. Because if it does, I think it will be dramatic. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's a bit exaggerated, but you know, you don't want to give that to someone and then he opens up and the sequins everywhere, it wouldn't be cool. So once the fuse tool was hard, I used it, I trimmed my uh, shaker and then I used my little punch hole to do the holes in all of them. And I added some, and that's eyelet, voila, that's the word I was looking for, sorry, some uh, gold eyelet. And I squeezed them and it worked out pretty well and I'm hoping to add a little bit of thread or maybe some ribbon or something just that it pokes out of the book um, when people just took it in. Small books are okay but big books it can get lost in there. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. Please head over to my blog for more photos uh, of what I've done with that stamp set. And if you decide to give it a go, do something different, not necessarily a card, but something different with your stamps, please let me know. I love to watch. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye.